Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday, the 2nd of February. Uh, an exciting date, the 2nd of the 2nd, 22, 2222. A kind of date that used to get us excited at school, but one writes the date so seldom these, these days that it just slips by. I only notice this because I'm signing a whole lot of documents. Uh, so enjoy the 2nd of the 2nd, 22, and write the date if you can. However, we continue reading through the Bible, and Robert Murray McShane has us beginning to read Job, a book that is somewhat enigmatic to me. Um, starts off with Job, a righteous man, a good man, and at some uh, interrogation of the devil by God, God says, look at Job, and the devil says, well, he's only a good person because he's got everything. If you take all that away, he'll turn away from you. And so we're told uh, in verse 17, the Lord said to Satan, very well then, everything he has is in your power, but on the man himself, do not lay a finger. And the devil goes off and takes everything from Job, and Job doesn't turn away from God. But what struck me was this, just this uh, notion of the devil and God and the interplay between them. And what exactly was going on, we're not told. I don't think it's the focus of the book, how the heavenlies work, or the role of the, of the devil in, in the, the, uh, the kingdom of God, or what's going on there. But you have this, this good and evil. But what really struck me was that we need to recognize that we live in a world and we only see what is part of our universe. There's a whole other spiritual reality behind it. There is God and his purposes and what he's doing and how he's doing it that we have no clue about other than what he tells us in scriptures. And so often we think we, we ought to understand and get our heads around um, and have agreement with what's going on because this is where we live. Whereas what this tells us quite clearly is that sometimes what is going on is merely the outworking of what is really going on. And we only see the outworking, we don't see what's going on. And the introduction here sets the scene. What is going on is there's this, this uh, discussion, this, this uh, debate between good and evil. And the rest of the book plays that out. And we need to just take courage that sometimes when our life is such that it doesn't make sense or when we look at people's lives around us and we pray for things and we ask for things and, and the seemingly senseless happens. We either abandon faith and say we live in a meaningless, senseless, arbitrary world and there is no hope for anyone. It just is. Or else we say there is a God who has clearly revealed himself as loving He's clearly revealed himself as almighty, but he is also a God that is hidden from us. And we just trust that God is doing what God does. And we don't understand, we don't see the picture, but we know that we are in safe hands and that God's plan is always perfect. And we trust that one day we will see this. That day may only be when we step into his presence in eternity. But that is our faith. And therefore, we have hope, we have strength, we have comfort in our time of suffering on earth. So be encouraged, particularly if you're going through that, and be able to get alongside and just comfort and, and strengthen and encourage other people that are in that position. Be blessed.